Okay, can you hear me? I got a little mic this time, see? Can you hear that? Hope that sounds a little bit better. Okay, um, so units. Uh, I mentioned in a previous video that units were important because indeed they are. Um, but I'm going to show you how to convert units as an, I can give you an example of converting units. So um, let's say in the previous problem I got uh, a speed of 17 meters per second. And I want to, I want, you know, maybe that's difficult to envision in your head, so I want to convert that to miles per hour. Okay, so um, what do we do? Well, let's, well, we need to know some type of conversion. You could just convert meters per second to miles per hour, but don't, I want to do this the longer way. Um, I know that uh, one kilometer equals 0.62 miles. Okay, and I'm going to basically just use that one thing um, other than the conversions to seconds and hours and stuff like that. Okay, so there's my thing, and the first thing I want to do is um, let's say this is uh, V equals. I'm going to multiply this by uh, something so that I can get rid of things. Uh, but I want to multiply by 1 because I don't want to change the number. I still want it to be the same speed, just in a different units. Okay, so um, let's just go ahead and get rid of the meters. I don't want meters, I want miles. Okay, well, I, I don't have meters to miles, so let me do this the long way. I can say, well, I can 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So this thing right here is has the value of 1 since it's the same thing on the top and the bottom. So I'm not changing the answer. I, don't, I can do that to this side of the equation and this side I can multiply by 1 because it's the same thing. So I didn't, I didn't do anything. Um, but these meter units do cancel. So now I lo I'm left with uh, 17 over 1,000 kilometers per second. Now I can convert, um, I, I could get that number if I wanted to, but I can continue multiplying by 1. Now let me go ahead and convert kilometers to miles. So I'm going to say 0.62 miles over one kilometer. And now I have 17 times 0.62 over a thousand miles per second. And let's just keep on going. Okay. Now I want to convert. Uh, sec See the key thing here is I put the thing I want up here and the thing I want to cancel underneath it. Okay, so that I had kilometers, so I want kilometers on the bottom, so they cancel. Okay, now I want seconds. I want, let's just change that to minutes. I'll do it the long way. So I'm going to want minutes on the bottom, because it was seconds, and I want seconds on the top. So now I just need to know what's the relationship between seconds and minutes I can put there. Well, I mean, I think we all know there are 60 seconds in one minute. And now the seconds will cancel. And then I want to convert uh, minutes to hours. So I'll do the same thing. Hour, minute, the minutes cancel, but I need to know how many are in there. Well, there are 60 minutes in one hour. So after doing all that, what am I left with? I'm left with miles over hours. So now I can just put all this in my calculator and I get Okay, can you hear me still? Let's see. I assume you can still hear me, but if you can't, then just pay attention. Okay, so I just need to put all this in my uh, my calculator, and so 17 times 0.62 times 60 times 60 divided by 1,000, and I get 37.9. So V equals 37.9 miles per hour. Is that right? Yep. Okay, so that's, that's it. Um, that's the basic for unit conversion. Uh, let me see, do I have time to say one more thing? Yes. Okay, let me say one more thing. What if you're converting an acceleration? Okay, I'm not going to do it. But let's say I had A equals three meters per second squared and I want to convert that to meters per meters per minute squared. Why would you want to do that? It doesn't matter right now. Okay. But let's just say I want to convert this to uh, minutes meters per minute squared. So if I multiply this by, okay I know I want to get seconds 
over minutes, 60 over 1. That's wrong. And I see this mistake all the time, and that's why I'm pointing it out. Because, see, here I have seconds, and here I have seconds squared. So I would, if I did this, I would get, uh, I would get 180 meters per second minute. And I want minutes squared. So, in fact, I have to do this twice. Now I have seconds squared divided by seconds, and I get minutes squared. Okay. So when you have units that are squared, meters squared, meters cubed, things like that, and you're converting, be very careful. Okay. I see that mistake all the time, and don't let that be you. Okay. So that's unit conversions. Um, just so you know, the, the importance here, look, 17 meters per second, 37.9 miles per hour. These are the same thing. They're the same thing, even though the numerical part's different. Okay, that's the most important thing. That tells you how important these units are. Okay.